Thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie. If you are new here, I do air fryer videos every Friday. And today though, I wanted to add something extra fun to one of my videos. I am going to have a recipe in this video at the end of this video. So stay tuned to the end of this video so you'll see what we will be cooking. Um, I was very limited to some of the things that um, we could do in the air fryer. I was trying to come up with different ideas or creative ways to cook in it um, just by using a piece of foil and things to line my air fryer. I did have another container that I was using to do other things in there, um, but I wanted to branch out a little bit more and do more interesting things. So with that being said, I want to share with you guys the accessory kit that I have. If you guys are interested and you guys have an air fryer, um, go down in the description. I have two links for two different style uh, accessory kits and one of them is this one. Um, this Friday though, I am going to be doing one that involves this one right here so why don't we get started with this one first since i will be doing a video um this one is a skewer set and you can do all sorts of things with this so you can do hot dogs you can do chicken shrimp potatoes um, I can't tell you what I'm going to be doing on Friday, but, and I'm not even going to mention some of the things that I'm going to be using, but you can do, um, what else? I'm trying to think quick. Like maybe there's like a fruit, pineapple, strawberries, or something else that you could add to this to, um, make something in the air fryer. Another thing with using this is you're able to put a bunch of stuff on your skewers and then cook something underneath. So it is formulated to be able to do that, that you're able to put french fries underneath here while you're cooking, you know, like maybe chicken breast or chicken pieces and stuff like that on top. So if you want, you could do like chicken, onions, mushrooms, I don't know, some other stuff on there. And you can just become more creative this way with using your air fryer. And then it gives you kind of like a double up um, layer that you are able to work with. So this is the one that I will be using this Friday. So come back Friday and you'll see that video. Um, I'm actually excited because with spring coming up or even summer soon, hopefully if we have that, we are just you know, kind of making our way through winter right now. Um, we can make more uh, outside meals and stuff like that. And you could bring your air fryer outside if you need to. And then, or if you are gonna cook on the grill, you could do maybe some of your skewer stuff in the air fryer and then add it to your meal that you're gonna be cooking on the grill. So that is um, the one for the skewer. If you want, it does come with a cookbook and all the information on your like accessories on the things that you uh, will be getting. The only thing that I did not find in this book is the muffin pan, muffin tin. I do have two different sizes of this. So this is a little bit bigger than the one that I have. I have another one that is um, like more of an egg bite uh size that you can put eggs in and bacon and cheese in that one and put it in your air fryer maybe someday i'll do that you could also use this also for that and like i said i can do a recipe on that too but this is the one that i'm going to be using today for our um recipe for today so i'm not going to tell you what it is until we get to the end of the video but this is your muffin tin so you don't just need to use it for muffins you can do it for cakes and brownies and maybe even some like cookie thing or something like that so you have the ability to use this for different things um and uh, you know through some of my other videos i will be tying in more recipes with individually using these accessories um, for the air fryer so this is what I'll be using later on today okay so 
Here's another rack. I've showed you guys in some of my other videos that I've been using my trivet from my Instapot. And one of the things you can do with this is another layer up. So if you wanna put your chicken breast on here and your french fries underneath here or tater tots or bacon pieces or something like that, you can do on the bottom. So with us using bacon in the air fryer, we just turned it upside down to kind of weigh down the bacon. Otherwise, air fryer kind of flies everything around. So you might wanna line your liner with foil, put your bacon down, and then you would turn this upside down and put it on top so that you could cook your bacon. Otherwise, you can just um, put maybe some like asparagus on here some potatoes on here um i think another one was like hamburgers and stuff but i will be using this we have used or uh, made hamburgers in the air fryer before but i never used a trivet for it so i'm gonna try that next time um the only problem with using this is i wouldn't be able to get as many hamburgers in there as I would like using this. But if you don't want um, the grease and everything to be sitting on your hamburger, even though it drips to the bottom, um, you can use this and that'll help with that also. So that is that one. Um, okay, so this one right here is more of like a deep dish and you can use this one for cakes and um, let's see what else is in here. This is the only one. I wanted to look more into this one because I know I'm gonna be using this more. I did in one of my other recipe uh, or air fryer videos, and I'll leave a link above, is my, um, what was it called? Apple crisp video, and I used a different pan, and I wish I would have had this one to do that, but you can do apples in the air fryer and stuff like that and do your apple crisp recipes in here. It's small enough that it all just fit right inside. And I think with this accessory kit, it is um, suitable for most air fryers. Um, so you might wanna, when you are checking into it, make sure that it is uh, fit for your air fryer. So one of the things that you can make in here with that pan, so it, it shows you in your um, little manual thing that you get, it says cake barrel recipe. So that's what this is gonna be called, cake barrel. And you can make, let's see what it says, casseroles, cakes, breads. Um, I'm sure you could even do Ooh, do I even want to tell you guys? No, I'm not even going to tell you. You'll have to come back and keep watching my videos because I just got an idea. So I'm not even going to tell you what you can make in here. So I'll do that next time. One other time, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll just come back. Or you just come back and I'll tell you that. You know, mac and cheese, if I didn't say that already. Um, and uh, chicken and broccoli casserole. I am gonna go ahead and make some of these in here. Some of the Fridays, um, I am gonna tie some of these recipes in here. I will let you know them days that I am using this as my reference for the recipe, um, just so that you guys know that you guys can order your kit. I think I paid $24 for this kit, 25 maybe, $24.95 or something like that. And I got it with Amazon Prime two days later. So that was pretty cool. I've been wanting to get this so I can do more things and I'm happy that I got it. But I am gonna share this with you guys when I do more things. Okay, so another thing that came in here is this pan. It's called the pizza pan. And I'm gonna go through some of the things that you can use with it. So pizza pan recipe. You can do, just like the cake barrel, it says prepare your ingredients, place them in the pizza pan. Okay, so you can do pizzas, pies, omelets, pancakes, and quesadillas, and more. So there's all different things. And I just, I have another thing that I can use with this one that um, will be fun to do too. So. Well, you'll just have to stay tuned because I got some ideas here um, that I will be using. But I am happy that I have other ways of using my air fryer, especially with liquid, because everybody knows that you can't just put a liquid in the air fryer. It's just not going to work. You need something that it's going to um, that's going to be able to sit in there and be able to cook up with. And um, all of these seem to be like where you are able to clean them very nicely. So I guess I know in my air fryer, a lot of people were questioning how my um, pull out 
tray is in there. So far it's holding up. I've been using it almost every single day, like I said, and I do have a little wear and tear on it. Eventually I'm gonna have to replace it, but I'm not like losing any pieces on it. There's little pieces around the edge that like can it come off, just like little snaps that help you, it rest in there nicely. And I haven't had any problems with any of that. So we'll just have to see how these last. It's just mainly these two that have that silicone, or not silicone, but the um, lining on here. So we'll see how long them last. And then here is a, like a silicone heat pad. And this is just so that when you pull out your hot stuff that you have a place to sit it on, which I find that's like really, really nice because a lot of times I was just pulling out my foil uh, liner and using my foil liner as my hot pad and then just placing it on like a, you know, a towel or something like that. So this is gonna be nice to use when we pull out our cakes and stuff. Um, today, when I get done with this, I could probably just put this on, whoops, I just dropped something. I'll just be putting this right on top of here so that I don't put it directly on my countertops. So in here, there is a bunch of different recipes you guys can follow. And I'm sure there's other recipes out there that you guys can follow in your air fryer. Um, but this just came with this kit. So that is everything that I got. So one, two, three, four, five, six different things in this kit. And I definitely will be using all of these. And I will be sharing with you guys some of the things that I will be doing. But today I want to go over this with you. So let's get started and show you what we're going to be making. Today is going to be a treat. A lot of my videos have been more like meals and quick appetizers and snacks. I kind of wanted to do a dessert today. I thought that would be fitting with me having an extra thing to work with. I am going to be making brownies today in here. So I have my mix and everything ready and I'm gonna go, we'll go over by my air fryer and I will show you guys what you need to put your temperature on and how long you need to cook it for. And that's about it. So let's get started. All right. So now that we're over by the air fryer, I wanna show you how to go ahead and make your brownies. I already have the mix um, done already. I just used a regular box mix. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is spray your liners just so we, they don't stick. Even though it's a silicone liner, it still will help with them popping out nicely for you guys. If you do have an ice cream scoop, it is easier to scoop everything in that way. We're gonna probably do this in two batches. And what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that it is cooked all the way through when um, the cooking time is up. Every air fryer is gonna be different. So you're gonna wanna test it with like a toothpick or something to make sure that the center is um, cooked through. You're gonna want to fill the tin or fill this halfway. Um, not, don't fill it all the way up to the top. So you're just gonna wanna fill it halfway. All right, so that's what that looks like. Just place it right inside your air fryer, okay? You are going to set your air fryer for 300 degrees. And you're gonna set it for 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna check this probably halfway in between, and all you need to do is just open up the door. It doesn't cancel out your timing or anything like that unless your air fryer is different. I haven't had any problem yet with checking um, the, some of the meals that are in here. I like to keep track of it just because air fryers can be a little touchy with timing. So I'm gonna check it within 15 minutes and see how it's doing. And then we're gonna come back at the rest of the time and check it with a toothpick and see if it's cooked all the way through. So I'll see you back in a little while. All I had was a wooden skewer, so I'm gonna check it this way. So let's see. 
Okay, so it's not, they're not quite done yet. So I'm gonna stick it in for another like five minutes. So the cook time would go down to maybe like um, 10 minutes. So we'll come back in five more minutes and then I'll check it um, then and see if they're finished yet or not. So overall we started with 30 minutes and um, 15 minutes it was almost cooked through. So we'll come back and just check on it. Okay, so the next five minutes is up. I'm gonna test it to see if they are done. Yep, they, oh, that one has a little bit Okay, so it is not quite done yet. I'm just gonna cook it for the rest of the time and then we'll come back. I cooked them for the full 30 minutes and I pulled them out. Just be very careful when you pull them out, they are very hot. So I am going to scoop them out. You could use these for like ice cream and stuff like that if you want to put these in a bowl and then top with ice cream. I have kids over here that are wanting some of these brownies, so I'm going to scoop them up quickly. They're standing around me right now. You guys just don't see them. You want to say hi to these guys? Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we are going to sprinkle a little, a little bit of powdered sugar on there. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you guys like today's video. I kind of, when I do some unboxings, I like to tie in some recipes with that. Um, so today it was just something... Um, extra special with getting the accessories for the air fryer um, and then just an extra little treat for you guys um, for coming along to watch this video don't forget to come back tomorrow because I will have another video out for you guys and that like I said before is going to be using the skewer um, piece that came with the kit and what else don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> you guys can't see it. See you in the next one. You want to tell them? Like, don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. If you guys like today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.